or actually a whole album that I put together as a way of healing. It's an album that's called Purify, and the song is called Purify. Um, flute was used in that way of courtship to show that respect, appreciation that we have for the women of our communities. And it was also used today now as a way of healing. A lot of times if you want to have that balance within your, your mind, within your body, a lot of times many people will search for different instrumentation to listen to for a type of meditation or even just to help to get a better night's rest and to rejuvenate your body. And so I created a, an album that's called Purify and I used these huge flutes. I usually play a lot smaller flutes that are bamboo river cane flutes with my good friend Mr. Darren Yazi on acoustic guitar. Um, and, but most recently I tried this, this newer style with using these very, very deep um, sounds. And so I'm gonna share one song with you here. And the second one I'll be sharing with you is a double uh, chamber drone flute. Uh, but I'm going to have an accompaniment with uh, my daughter. One of my daughters will be joining me. But this song here, hopefully, if you close your eyes and you would think of in Sedona. That's where the song, all these different melodies were composed. In Sedona, um, right towards, I'm not exactly even sure the exact name of the trail. But there's an area that's my favorite place to go. Um, it just overlooks all of Sedona. Um, beautiful, beautiful area. That place, actually... Um, close to Sedona, uh, they say is a, a place of emergence for our Apache nation, our Apache people. So it has a very strong energy there. So that's where this, these songs come from. It's a song called Purify. I'm going to share the stage with um, a young lady. Her name is, Cree name is Thunderbird Woman. She's going to be joining me, sharing with a couple different movements to this song. The movements she's going to be doing are actually from a story that my father shared with me uh, when I was very young. and. My father's a, a storyteller, many different stories. He, my dad is around here somewhere, here he is. There's my father right there. And so, round of applause for my dad. He taught all of us brothers, he made all of our hoops, taught me how to play the flute. And um, so we love my father so much and we danced for him and played music for him all the time. And so, this is little Natanis. 
And there's a story that my father shared about this young girl, very mischievous, like little Mia. And she actually took off when they were picking acorns one day. And she went and instead of picking those acorns, putting them into her basket, she went and she hid. She hid away from her, her parents, her mother and her grandmother. And she went and chased butterflies and went all over the place. And eventually, she thought it was funny and she was having a good time and then she found her that she went so far back that she became lost herself. And the sun started to set to the western doorway and she looked around, she couldn't find them, her parents or she couldn't find her mother, grandmother, anywhere. And she sat down right as the sun was going down and started to get dark and she started to cry. And those tears went down and they formed a little in salt embankment they went on the on that um, part of that river and they say throughout the night she cried and all of her relatives they looked for her and they couldn't find her she went deep deep down into that canyon and they prayed for her that the creator would protect her put his hands around her and early the next morning they found this young girl as she was protected all throughout the night and she ran and gave hugs to her grandmother and to her mother but then the creator came down and told him that this little girl's tears are going to be a reminder to the younger ones to watch and to listen to your grandmother and your listen to your parents. And so this is a story that my dad shared with us. And they say that certain area that still has that salt embankment, uh, if you're driving from over in San Carlos, making your way up to the White Mountains, there's a little area between all the switchbacks there, um, right all the way down where the water is, there's an area there uh, where they... Um, this young girl's tears went down and so this is a uh, little Natanis and the song I'm going to be sharing with you comes from um, an area where me and my father share stories every year at the Luminaria over in the Desert Botanical Gardens this song was composed and so it's called Luminaria so I hope you enjoy it Natanis <laughs> 